All right, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So now we are going to customize record highlights with compact layouts, all right? What is compact layouts? So it's a layout that's compact. <laughs> Makes sense, right? So this will help users to focus important informations when they are viewing on a record. Let's go dig in, okay? I'm going to go to my hands on orgs here and click on my playground. So let me give you a complicated, not complicated, like a cluttered or complex um, example. If I go to opportunities here, Opportunities have lots of fields. I'm going to change to all, or let's change it to this one. And if I go into one and go to the details, you see lots of fields here. Well, usually there are more, um, a whole lot more of fields there. On a real, real organization, there can be hundreds of fields. So it's so confusing if you want to know a certain important basic information about a record, in this case, opportunity. So this is the highlights, right? This box is the highlights. So this is the important information that is basic and used most often. So when, when the logged in user is opening a record, their eyeballs, their eyes is going to see this part. This is the important, the, the important information. Who's the account name, close date, uh, amount, opportunity owner. So let's go to our own example now, okay? That's a business opportunity example. Now we're going to our students um, example, the school system example. So, grade five students, Mr. J, if I click Rebecca here, so the student is the highlight or the compact layout is only showing the student name right now. So the details is not so much information because we are just playing around, but on a real school system, the student record will have like a lot of information, right? A lot of stuff going on here. So the the logged in teacher or principal would, would like to see basic important information on the top here, not all over the place here, all right? So let's go ahead and help them out. How do we put important information on the top instead of here? where people have to uh, struggle to find a particular information when there is hundreds of fields. It can be hundreds all the way and you have to scroll all the way down to see or find a particular information, all right? So let's create a compact layout here. So as usual, where do we go to customize stuff? You should remember by now we go to the setup menu, right? Setup, which is from the gear icon here, pop. So what are we customizing? The student object, right? We go to this object manager and we search for student object. Mm -hmm. And we click on here. So we want to create a new compact layout. Why do we want to create a new one? Because the one that we are using, whenever you create a new object, it always has a system default compact layout, which you cannot change. There is no edit button here. So you can't change this guy. You have to make a new one, okay? New. 
I'm going to name this student compact layout alright so what important information do we want to display over on the top part here I want the student name for sure I want to know the teacher who's the student teacher at the moment right and I want to know the grade of the student that's enough for me for now so I'm going to save this and that's it once you save it you have to assign this new compact layout to be used by the page here if we're not assign if we are not assigning it it's not going to be used because it's still using the if, if, I, if I go back here it's still using the system see it's the primary so you want to change that how do you change the primary you click the compact layout assignment here all right and you want to edit the assignment and change to our new student compact layout without changing this if I refresh this it's still displaying the same old things on the top see now I'm going to assign this and save now if I refresh this it should show the what the teacher and the grade of the student all right so I'm going to refresh here there you have it and as you can see Rebecca uh, teacher and grade is blank why because it takes a few seconds for the lightning interface to pick up information why because Salesforce have I don't know thousands maybe maybe hundreds of thousands or maybe tens of thousands of servers or computers and we when you change stuff here it takes a few seconds for it to show the information on here so don't freak out if you see what it's blank it's not blank right why on earth is it blank what happened did I did it wrong no when you change stuff on the lightning platform it's not happening instantly right that very second see I'm just talking and babbling here because I'm waiting for a few more seconds for this to populate see as you can see we are in real time I did not pause the video in any way and if I refresh this it will pop up the information bada bing bada boom see so don't freak out if you change information on the lightning platform you customize stuff and your changes is not appearing here <gasps> what what on earth is blank or it's not happening what's wrong what's wrong so don't freak out just wait a few seconds or up to a minute because Salesforce is a huge organization and they, they have a lot of I don't know thousands of computers and it, it takes a few seconds for all the information changes to come across all their computers so be patient like we just did and wait a few more seconds and it's gonna be there okay so um, why I wanna keep talking because with Salesforce you can have millions or billions of records and their system is awesome enough to handle millions or billions of records in real time so they have to have to, a good computer infrastructure to handle that right it's not a small tiny system just to handle a thousand records you can have a hundred million students across the entire world and Salesforce will still be able to handle it okay I'm passionate about Salesforce that's why I, wa I wanna explain it to you don't see huh it's so slow no if you handle 100 million records and you just have to wait 10 more seconds instead of 10 more hours that that's just awesome right so yeah keep keep that in mind all right so that's um, a compact layout so let's see what else compact layout we just did all that and 
I think that's it. That's a compact layout. Also, um, yeah, we have created a compact layout. And let's do the challenge now, right? So create a call of an opportunity compact layout. Uh, it's called new opti compact layout. Let's go ahead and do that together. So I'm going to go back to here, but now, no, not there. I'm going to go back to here and change the object to, what do I type here? Opportunity. Right. And then same thing, compact layouts, right? Same thing. You see system default. There is no edit button. You cannot change this. You can only make a new one right and then they want us to make name it new opti compact layout and available fields they want us to put opportunity name probability close date stage amount owner okay one two three four five six all the important information, opportunity name, and owner, but let's do it in order. Probability, close date, stage amount. Probability, close date, stage, amount and owner there we go and save this guy then what we have to assign it otherwise it's not going to show up I'm gonna save this guy so the primary com compact layout is now new opti compact layout so it's primary Let's test it out. If I go to opportunities here, I want to see if the new compact layout is now being used. Otherwise, when I check the, there you go. It's still a blank, right? Like before. So don't freak out. It's still synchronizing all the data, all the changes across Salesforce servers. So I'm going to refresh it again. Still blank. The stage should be what? Negotiation slash review, right? This is what's supposed to be displayed there. And the probability percent. That should be 90%, right? So I don't want to click check challenge yet because it's still propagating. That's a cool word right if you're a grade 5 student <laughs> propagating what does that mean propagating means it's saving across all the servers that salesforce have all right refresh it's still taking a long time come on salesforce well think of it this way yeah if you have a hundred million students it's 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 amazing to to, to have these changes come across 5,000 schools across the entire planet. And when you hit save, all 5,000 schools, when they open the student record, it's, it's all changing at the same time. Well, at, uh, not at the same time, within like two minutes or five minutes, right? After you make the changes. So one school in America, one school in the Philippines, one school in Australia, one school in South Africa, one school in Japan, one school in Bangladesh, one school in anywhere in the world. They are opening the same thing and bam, they are seeing the same thing when you make the changes. So it does take time because Salesforce have servers across the planet, right? See, now it's all there. So be patient, that's the key. Be patient, be patient, come on, be patient, right? Now I'm gonna click this guy. And we will have our 500 points. 
and I will see you on the next unit. After we get the points though. Come on Salesforce, give me the points. It's checking. There we go. I'll see you on the next unit. Thank <laughs> you.